Welcome to computer Sabbath school class. We're gonna have a quick word of prayer to welcome in the Sabbath, okay? Dear Jesus, thank you so much for this Sabbath day. Thank you that we get to spend time with each other even though it's over a computer. Um, thank you for each one of these kids. Help them to know how much you love them and how much I love them. And please help uh, this Sabbath school class to be something that will leave them with a little bit of your love today. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, we'll see you at Sabbath school. Our first song is going to be Jesus Love is a Bubble and Over. 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 Hallelujah. Mm, love is a Bubble and Over. Mm, love is a Bubble and Over. Mm, love is a Bubble and Over. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Ah, bubbling over. Mm -hmm. Ah, bubbling over. Mm -hmm. Ah, bubbling over. Hallelujah. Ah, shh over. Ah, shh over. Ah, shh over. Jesus love is a bubble and over. Jesus love is a bubble and over. Jesus love is a bubble and over. Hallelujah. Our next song is gonna be My God Loves Me. My God, My God loves me. me. And all the wonders I see. The rainbow shines through my window my god loves me my god loves you and yes he died for you too the rainbow shines through my window my god loves you our next song will be peace like a river i have peace like a river i've got peace like a river i've got peace like a river in my soul I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I've got love like an ocean. I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I've got love like an ocean. I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. 
our last song we're gonna sing is God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. He loves me so. He loves me so. He loves me so. He's so good to me. He's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. He's so good to me. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Little Agnieszka grew up in beautiful countryside in southern Poland. A big green forest stood on one side of her house. A green meadow with pretty white daisies and pink and purple wildflowers stretched out on the other side of the house. Agnieszka loved nature, but she was easily frightened. She didn't like the dark. Strangers were scary. Her family had cats, dogs, and chickens, but she was scared of them. She was especially terrified of mooing cows and gobbly gobbling turkeys. Fortunately, no cows or turkeys lived at her house. But a flock of turkeys did live in the yard of a farmhouse that she passed on the way to school. Agnieszka loved school and she loved walking to school. One morning, she skipped along the road to the village and turned the corner to school. A few steps later, she saw something that filled her with horror. She stopped in her tracks. Dozens of gobbly gobbling turkeys were wandering on the road. The birds were enormous and they made a loud, scary racket. <laughs> Agnieszka looked to one side of the road, a rushing stream. She couldn't walk through it. She looked to the other side. More gobbly gobbling turkeys were walking in a ditch and strolling in the adjacent meadow. She couldn't walk there. She looked beyond the meadow. The gate to the farmhouse fence was open and the yard was empty. The turkeys had escaped from there. Agnieszka was trapped. She couldn't go to school because of the gobbly gobbling turkeys. She couldn't go home because then she would be late for school. She sat down on the road to hide from the turkeys. God, help me, she prayed. Opening her eyes, she saw an elderly man riding a bicycle toward her. The man wore dark gray clothes and a dark gray cap. His bicycle was dark gray. He was coming from the direction of the school. Fearlessly entering the flock of gobbly gobbling turkeys, he energetically waved his arms and shouted, Shoo! Shoo! The turkeys gobbled even more and made a frantic dash toward their yard. Feathers flew and the screech of the gobbly gobbling turkeys was deafening. <laughs> Agnieszka was surprised that the stranger wasn't scared of the turkeys. She had never seen him before, but she wasn't afraid. He looked sort of familiar. As the old man rode past her, he said kindly, It's all right now. Agnieszka's mouth dropped open in amazement. She looked at the turkeys gobbly gobbling back in their yard. She looked back at the road to wave at the old man. He had disappeared. Agnieszka happily ran to school. She wasn't even late. The turkeys never invaded the road again. Agnieszka has always remembered God's answer to her frightened prayer. Now the mother of two children, she tells them how the stranger scared away the turkeys. I don't know whether he was an ordinary man or an angel, she says, but I know the victory came from God. I was able to survive the turkeys with God's help. Good morning, happy Sabbath. Thank you all for joining us today. We're going to go into our lesson study now, which is called, Did You Hear? The memory verse is found in Acts 2, verse 17, and it's, I will pour out my spirit on all people. And the message is that God gives us skills to serve him. 
the city of Jerusalem was spilling over with people. The dusty streets were clogged with noisy travelers from all over the world. People shouted and pushed their way through the crowds. Donkeys bayed, babies cried. Thousands of Jews were visiting the holy city of Jerusalem to celebrate the Feast of Pentecost. The disciples and many other believers were gathered together, worshiping and praying to God. But no one in the group expected the very extraordinary thing that was about to happen. Nothing like it had ever happened before. Suddenly, a strange sound came from the sky. It sounded like a strong, mighty, rushing wind, but it was not wind. The sound entered the room and filled the whole house where the believers were. Then suddenly, the sound died away. And all of a sudden, the believers looked at each other and they saw what looked like tongues of fire spreading throughout the room, touching each person. They were suddenly filled with the Holy Spirit. They were filled with God's Spirit. It was just like the prophets of old. They could hardly believe what was happening and they began to praise the Lord. Then the crowd heard something different. It sounded like everyone in the house was talking and shouting at the same time. Now what? Quiet, listen. A man from Syria flung his arm in the ear. I hear someone in that house speaking my language. Me too, a traveler from Egypt gasped. Someone in that house is speaking my language. Nonsense, a rough voice spoke up. Those people in that house are just drunk. Drunk, 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 some unruly people chanted. Peter and the other apostles came out of the house. Peter began to speak in a very loud voice so everyone could hear him. Fellow Jews and all of you who live in Jerusalem, he began, listen to me and let me tell you what this means. These people are not drunk as you suppose. No, Peter told the crowd about Jesus and he told them that Jesus had died for their sins. He told them that Jesus had risen from the dead and he was now in heaven. He told them that God would forgive their sins and that they too could receive God's gift of the Holy Spirit. The children listened quietly and many of the people believed that they had heard what they had heard. About 3,000 people decided to follow Jesus that day. Asher, come here. How do you think you would have felt if you had heard a loud noise and felt the wind? I would feel very surprised. Surprised? Do you think it would be a little scary, maybe? Maybe. Loud noises and cracking and fire? Yeah, yeah, probably. What miracle happened when God sent the Holy Spirit? Um, someone... Remember what the people outside were saying? Someone in a different house was speaking the same language as them. Right. All these different languages. The Holy Spirit came into their hearts and into their minds and suddenly they could all speak languages that people around them um, from other countries uh, were able to understand, right? Mm -hmm. We call this a uh, miracle, the gift of tongues. And because everyone heard and understood what was being said in their own language, God had given Peter a way to reach people of many countries, right? Mm -hmm. So all those people, you think about if there's kids out in the street that don't speak the same language as you. If you suddenly can speak the same language, what can you do with them? You can use them to help you learn about Jesus. Right. You can talk to them, right? And they'll understand you. Mm -hmm. But if someone out there speaks Spanish and you speak English, you guys can talk to each other, but will you understand each other? Nope. Nope. But God made it so that they could understand each other. God gives us skills to serve him, right? Mm -hmm. So what was our memory verse? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. We'll go over it again. I will pour out my spirit on all people. Acts 2 verse 17. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. So remember, God has given us all gifts that he wants us to use for him. 
and you can pray about what those gifts are and you can ask Jesus to help show you how you can use them to teach others about him. Thank you for joining us. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Hey, thanks for joining me for this week's trek to McCoy Bay. As you can see, I'm not out walking through the woods or along the bay, but I did have some great time exploring last night out in a field. This field was not down near McCoy Bay, but I think what I found in the field and was watching in the field is definitely down near the bay. Let's see what I discovered. Well, you can see it's just plain dark out here. And um, I have adjusted my camera the best I can to work in the dark, but um, I'm not sure that's going to work. If I'm quiet for a second, you can hear frogs. and uh, some of them are tree frogs. I'll include a video of a tree frog I saw at the house as I was getting ready to come out tonight. And then there's crickets. One of my f other favorite bugs is crickets because I love the sound of crickets singing in the field. I'm gonna go ahead and stop videoing. By the way, I just heard a bat. I don't know if you could hear that in the background. Turns out capturing fireflies on camera was a lot more complicated than I expected. So I brought myself a jar and I'm going to see if I can get a firefly or two in here. Two fireflies, this one, you can see it. Hopefully I'll work on getting a better picture for you. And then this one on the bottom. So there's one on the left and one on the bottom. And the only thing they did is climb to the top. Fireflies produce a cold light. In fact, the light they produce through a chemical reaction in their bodies is one of the most efficient kinds of lights in the world. These bugs are found in temperate and tropical climates with over 2,000 species. They aren't actually flies either, but beetles. And when you go out to watch the fireflies, notice that some blink quickly and some have a slow blink. That's because some are male and some are female. That's how they communicate during firefly mating season. Now, since I didn't get any good firefly blinking in the video, you should go out and watch fireflies tonight if the weather's good and see how many you can count. Well, you might have guessed it. This week's Bible text is from Matthew, Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. He said, you are the light of the world. That means we carry the light of Jesus with us everywhere we go. So. Go light up your world by loving people like Jesus does. God, thank you so much for my friends who have stopped by to learn about fireflies. Please help them to see many beautiful things in nature this week. And most of all, as we live our lives every day in our families, with our friends, or wherever we go, may people see the love of Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Well, that's all for now. Until next time, go do some exploring.